Guys, I can hear the ice falling. Just barely, but it started falling. There's what I did with one of my peppermint plants. I decided to put it in this big pot where I had started rooting some mums. I figured the peppermint might look real good up here this summer because it'll grow tall and then fall over the side of the pot. And I think it'll look real good. But I wanted to show you, I mean, it's like 27 degrees out here right now. The high today is only 29. We're being hit by that winter storm. And you can see here, I covered up everything that could be covered up. Or anything that had little uh, buds coming up in it. I don't know if it'll help. As cold as it's going to be for three days, I don't know. Nothing may help. And I went and I put a blanket over my green stalk tower for my Brussels sprouts. And then I covered it with a tarp. So hopefully that's going to keep that from freezing. Because that's what I did uh, when it got down to 10 degrees. 10 and 13 degrees those two nights. So we'll see what happens. I covered that up, my peas over there. Like I said, if it rains too much, that cardboard is going to cave in, and it may not help at all. I may have to put something under some of the cardboard to keep it from caving in. And I got the light on in my greenhouse, trying to keep it warm in there. You can barely see it. But I put my buckets out here to my totes so if it rains in there and we have any runoff it's going to go in the buckets then I covered the pots and put them in the totes covered them with plastic put a rock on the top because sometimes you can turn a pot upside down on top of your plant put something on the top of it like a rock to keep it from blowing away and it'll keep it from freezing sometimes so we'll see like I had some plants in there and there and down there so we'll see don't know if it's going to help. But that kale is frozen. I didn't have much to cover that up with. I had used a lot of my cardboard in my uh, over there at the buckets when I put the wood chips down. So I didn't have a lot of it left. I wasn't expecting another winter storm to come through. Yeah, but this, uh, this is Monday. This storm is going to stay around till like Thursday, and then it's going to start moving out Thursday. Let's see, my bird bath is frozen. <laughs> it's not going to thaw up anytime soon. I put a peppermint right there. And see there, the bird bath, it's frozen. <laughs> it looks kind of cool, but the water's still running in it. <laughs> I don't know how much longer it's going to run. Yeah, we just have a light mist of ice falling right now. It's not enough that you can hear it, but I could hear it. So I'm not going to stay out here. It's too cold, especially with that mist falling on me. <laughs> But like I said, I don't know what may survive these temperatures or what might not. But I figure if it made it through uh, 10 and 13 degree temperatures, maybe covering it up will keep what few Brussels sprouts I've got left alive. So we'll see. Like I said, I'm not going to stay out here. I just wanted to show you. It's too cold to stay out here. Didn't have anything over there left alive to even cover up, so. Everything looks kind of bare since I cleaned out all the dead plants. But you can see my uh, clematis started budding back out the vines look dead but they're not dead they're dormant and when the weather warms up 
the clematis will start growing back on the old stems and on the old uh this one here had a new shoot coming up right there so some of them will grow on the old stem and some of them put out brand new stems so this one over here is the one that grows on the old stems old vine so you don't want to cut it back and this one is the one that puts out a whole new plant each year but you don't have to replant because it comes back up from the roots that's one reason I got it because I wanted a vine that would grow up over the trellis you can see some of the old dead ones up there I leave them so it has something to grow on I need to cut that off of there and it won't look good <laughs> Let me put this down. I'm going to go over there and cut that cool that yarn off of there. I don't like it. <laughs> it doesn't look good. It doesn't need it anymore over there anyway. Yeah, I'm glad I got all that cleaned up. Don't it look better? <laughs> all those old dead plants are gone. They're all in the compost pile back there that I've still got to put dirt on, and I was going to do that today, but I forgot that we had this storm moving through. So I guess it'll wait till several days from now when this storm is gone. But anyway, I'm going in the house where it's warm and I just showed you my messed up living room and see I do have my pots in here my aloe vera my clematis and my insulin plant I had to bring those in and put them in the living room because and my uh, mother of millions what I had left of it is in here because I don't want it to freeze and I didn't have any room in the greenhouse to put it so I'm not going to make a long lengthy video today so with this I am going to tell y'all if you're anywhere close to where I live stay warm if you're affected by this winter storm make sure you cover your pipes outside so they don't freeze keep and maybe even keep your water dripping in the house so your pipes don't freeze that's what I do so, I'd rather pay a little bit more on my water bill than to have my pipes freeze and have to pay a plumber to come out here and repair the pipes and be without water. So, y'all stay warm. Please like, share, and subscribe to my videos, and y'all have a blessed day. I will see you on my next one.